It's not funny. It's not funny. I'm just reading some of the company. <laughs> what is going on, man? I told y'all this thing gets spicier and spicier and spicier and sweeter and sweeter every single day. No mash, Joe. Shame on you. <laughs> No mash Joe. No mash Joe. This is bad, y'all. How many times did this fella... Wasn't he just sick a couple... Uh, uh, during the debate, before the debate? Like, what's going on, man? Well, we can all agree with Van Jones. Finally. Once again, I, I think Van Jones has been knocking it on the nail. And um, he sees what we... He, he knows, you know. This is it. Yeah. He knows MAGA is coming, baby. He knows. Oh, man. Look at the comments. Just an excuse for Joe to drop out and save face. Uh, Jill won't let Joe withdraw, and Republicans are delighted to know it. Boy. These comments are getting... I can't, some of these comments I can't say, but... Shame on Jill. Elderly abuse, man. And once again, the world is laughing again. The president has gone viral again. And guess what? COVID. <laughs> it's not funny, but it's, it, it, it's sad. I'm telling you, it's sad. <laughs> you just can't make this up. You can't, you can't make this up. I'm, I'm, I'm being real. You, know, you just can't make this stuff up, y'all. But what Van Jones said live on there was so, so powerful. And I got to play it for y'all, man. We got to get into this segment. You know, boy, um, they're saying he could, and now there's a new report that he could with with uh drop drop out in within a week by next weekend or something. They said the report was from uh, he could with drop out after this next week. Well, we know, man, um, that ego's too high. I, what I think is, and him having uh Jill and his family and pe people in his ear. Yeah, he's just not. Hey, I think they're stuck, stuck with, stuck with them, man. And they're panicking, they're freaking out, shaking out their shoes right now, cause they know it's coming, man. You know, Doy them Dems is is freaking out, divided. Don't know. Uh, <laughs> uh, what's her name? Just came out and said, yeah, he needs to drop out. Top Democrats, Senate Democrats. I mean, I, I, eventually the whole party is just. What are we going to do? <laughs> yeah. Can y'all get Michelle on the phone? She didn't answer. <laughs> you, you, why, you don't, why you don't want Kamala? We're going to lose. <laughs> what you mean we're going to lose? They said she's qualified. I'm going to do a split in this, I swear. Oh, boy. I'm telling y'all, man. I'm going to have fun with this, I'll tell you. Because anybody with common sense, anybody that's been struggling, anybody that actually pays attention to what's really, really going on, yeah, it's getting real. It's getting real, man. The American people have been lied to, and it's been lie after lie after lie. People are, are sick and tired of being sick and tired. Look where we're at. Just look where we're at. It's terrible, man. It is terrible. And, you know, our boy Donald just took a bullet for the country, man. He doesn't cancel anything. You know, stands up and tell everybody to keep fighting. You know, continues the RNC, continues the convention, doesn't doesn't uh, uh, set it back two or three days. You know, puts a, a a bandage on his ear, lost piece of his ear. Yeah. And now you got MSNBC calling the bandage a prop. People just saying disgusting stuff still, man. What the left, what the left spews out. And then Joy Reid just that she just came out this morning with. We're doing a video on that uh, later on today, man. 
and now she can be sued for a billion dollars, which is crazy. And it's that's trending right now as we speak. Boy, it's just it's just sad, man. It really is. But let's play this. Let's play this uh, clip. And again, Van Jones, I appreciate you saying this live on air, buddy. We appreciate you. Good, good, good fellow, man. Good fellow, man. Good kind, sir. Make sure y'all hit that like button, subscribe to the channel if you're new here. We're going to bring it to you. We're going to have fun. We're going to spread love. We're going to laugh, man. We got to come together. We got to come together. We got to unify around these times, man. Prayers for you guys and your family. Prayers for Trump and his family. We wishing everybody nothing but the best through this fast time, this, this fast time travel that we live in. We live in a very, very fast time travel, y'all. And we're living in the biggest history yet. When, when, when we're long gone, they're going to say, what the? What's going on? In 2024, and not even just 2024, these last past years, but 2024, they're going to be like, what the what's going on? For real. Man. Boy. But how many times has this fella caught COVID? I'm trying to figure out what's going on, man. This is bad. Then this fella walks up the stairs. I mean, it's, it's just elderly abuse, y'all. It's sad. Poor fella. Poor fella, man. He's up there coughing and all kind of stuff, man. I, I... So the news is, of course, the RNC is going on today's day four, Make America Great once again. But you saw that split screen that we opened our program with. While, while you see the swagger screen right of Donald Trump screen left, you've got Joe Biden who is struggling in Las Vegas to make it up those 15 stairs. He's got COVID. The baby stairs. Oh, you just can't make this up, man. You just can't make this up, and it's not funny, man. It's not funny. It is not funny, man. But us Americans are trying to put this together, and we're like, man. This is why the country is at where it's at now, man. No mash Joe. Ridiculous, man. Again, man, we don't wish nothing, nothing negative, nothing harmful on anybody, you guys. No sicknesses, no diseases, no viruses, none of that stuff. We don't wish that on anybody. We wish everybody to have a healthy life, man, and that, you know, but what is going on, y'all? What is going on? This person over here has taken a whole bullet. And then they have this fella over here with walking upstairs, struggling. Uh, this is, man. And people are laughing, man. They're blaming old age on COVID. I mean, it, it, uh, people are laughing. How many, uh, how many booster shots? <laughs> how many booster shots? <laughs> Unbelievable, man. But Joe, we hope you fully recover and that you get back healthy, sir. From... Boy. Van Jones over on CNN perfectly summarize what we're looking at right there and what has happened over the last 80 hours. Today is a terrible day. Uh, if, you, if you just, if you pull back and look at this thing, strength versus weakness, a bullet couldn't stop Trump, a virus just stopped Biden. 
you've got the nominees of this party getting their butts kissed. Biden's getting his butt kicked by his own party. The Democrats are coming apart. The Republicans are coming together. That's what's happening. And at some point, this party has to look at the reality of that. He's absolutely right. Well, right. Wow, that was powerful, y'all. That was powerful, man. And we all clap it up for Van Jones. Everybody, start clapping. <laughs> start clapping. Can we all clap it up for Van Jones? Seems Nancy Pelosi is looking at the reality of that. It's being reported this morning that she had a private conversation with President Biden to say the polls are indicating that you cannot beat Trump. Uh, yeah, there's no doubt about it. And Chuck Schumer is also uh, did not deny that they had a similar conversation uh, with Akeem Jeffries weighing in. Now there's 21 Democrats. Just who's imagine that phone call from Pelosi. I know she's been taking shots. I, I know it. Yeah, when you when you got to face the news, that kind of news. And seeing all this take place and happening, oh, I know she's taking shots. She is taking shots. <laughs> Calls Joe on the phone, hey. <laughs> I threat to our democracy. <laughs> A threat to our democracy, Joe. You just can't beat them. Have you seen the new polls? <laughs> <laughs> oh. Ooh. Ooh. Oh, I'm telling y'all, man. This is the best channel on the platform. I'm telling you. Make sure you hit that subscribe button. We're going to keep it real. Said that he should be somebody, uh, somebody else should be uh, the nominee. Adam Schiff, without Nancy Pelosi's blessing, would never have said what he said yesterday. And that is, if uh, if Joe Biden is the nominee, uh, we're going to lose the House and Senate. He fears the House and Senate yeah. uh, as well as that. So something's got to be done. And he is defiant. I mean, Joe Biden's <laughs> actually doing his job. Yeah. He's doing what, what you know George Bush does and John Kerry tried to do. And you know, they, he's doing two, two or three events a day. He's doing interviews regularly. I assume somebody's running the country, even though he doesn't know the name of the Secretary Hunter. of Defense. I'm Hunter's back right. at the White House. Uh, he did not know this, his name of the Secretary Some of Defense. Some black man. Yeah, and a black, and a black person he put on the Supreme Court. <laughs> it's crazy. And he, he, thinks the head, and he thinks the head That's of the, he his Secret Service is a man. Right. So, right. But he's actually trying to keep up this pace. And he's making regular mistakes, and then he is uh, got COVID. Well, that's what Don Jr. said last night. Who, if you vote for Biden, who are you voting for? Who's running right. this country? But it's who not, do they want it's not Joe run? Biden. But Ainsley, who, who do you think they the want to run against? Well, there are also. I think they want to run against Joe Biden. I think they'd rather run against Joe Biden. A hundred percent. They they've been building the infrastructure to run against Joe Biden for a couple but, of years. But put but, Kamala in a debate with JD Vance. Right, and, 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 and it's they will see. Well, the 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 Harris Biden campaign or Biden Harris, however you want to say it at this point, because we don't know which one is going to be at the top of the ticket. Um, they're making it seem as if J.D. Vance is afraid of Kamala Harris. Now, you guys may That's remember. Funny. He's a lawyer. <laughs> He's a lawyer. He a few months from ago, Kamala Harris, former communications director, said the one person that they're afraid most of is J.D. Vance to debate Kamala right. Harris. Right. Oh, so who here's said what, that? The Democrats the said last, that? Right, right. Last communications here's here's what Brian Hughes just said, the Trump campaign senior advisor, uh, on response to what, why don't you commit to a date to debate? He said, we don't know who the Democratic nominee for vice president. <laughs> yeah, bro, hey, just complete savage. Complete savages over there uh, with the Trump team, man. Yeah, they're complete savages, man. I love it. We don't know who the nominee is. We don't know. Y'all got to get y'all stuff together. We don't know who, who, who's y'all pick. We don't know who's running. Um, y'all said this man's dropping. Now we just don't know. So we're not going to set a date. To do any kind of uh, debating with our our new VP pick, <laughs> I, I, as soon as Benny, y'all know Benny dropped the uh, from the True Social, he drops everything. So I'm, I I see if I don't see it on True Social, I see it on Twitter like immediately. 
president's going to be, we know so that. we can't lock That's in right. a date before the convention. To right. do so would be unfair to Gavin Newsom, J.B. Pritzker, uh, Gretchen <laughs> right. Whitmer, or whoever Kamala Harris picks as a running mate. They know so, how to put gasoline yeah, on right. the fire. So as you have all these top Democrats who are now telling the president, apparently, to his face. Chuck Schumer <laughs> went to Rehoboth last weekend and said, Mr. President, for the sake of the party, get out. And you got Hakeem Jeffries, and he said, listen, this is going to remain private, Mr. President. Until it isn't, yeah, because no, now it's, it's not. not. Because right, Jonathan it, Carl at ABC went over to Schumer's office to confirm the report. Right, they didn't even deny the report. So what CNN reported yesterday was there's no indication he is changing his mind, but now he's listening to people who are saying things that he doesn't like. And apparently, the three things that he is considering: polling, he's under he's underwater. Cash, according to Katzenberg, it is uh, drying up and the state's in play. And when you look at the swing state polls, Joe Biden is being beaten by the guy who could run up those stairs compared to him. And suddenly, you know, it, it's looking a little dimmer for the Bidens. So right. Reuters just did, a, just did a poll and it's only Trump by three. Yeah. So that's what Biden's going to say. Look. What polls are you looking That's at? Right. I'm still in contention. He actually did do low. that. He, he said, Nancy, I think your information's wrong. Look at right. these polls that I have. But, right. but you cannot run for president if you don't have the people with very deep pockets digging out some cash. And right now, nobody is digging cash out for Joe. As I, I think they're just waiting to see what the final ticket will be. And then I'm sure they'll... They'll pour a lot of money behind they, it. Because they don't want Trump. they can't stand Trump. As exactly. I continue to say, uh, it, he's forgotten a lot of things, but he still knows that he's president. And he right. knows that no one can force him out. The question is, does he care about our legacy or not? But he's going to get Social Security if he retires, right? true. Listen, true. I'm going to retire on the $1 that you are going to wind up paying right. in the next couple of weeks <laughs> yeah. over our long All right, time let's talk back. about the... I'm Steve... Boy, this is a complete... Oh, boy, boy, boy. Ah, man, shame, 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 shame. Who is running the country? And where is your mask, Joe? <laughs> <laughs> oh, man, this is bad, man. This is bad, y'all. We appreciate you, Van. We appreciate a lot of you, you Democrats speaking out, man. Being honest. Calling it for what it is. Live on air. The American people, man. Sick and tired of being sick and tired. A complete laughing stock, man. A complete laughing stock. Boy. Jill, hands behind your back. Elderly abuse, man. Well, y'all let me know what y'all think of this, man. I hope y'all had a good time with your boy, man. We're just having fun, keeping it real, calling it for what it is, no sugarcoating it. And um, if some of y'all, uh, I know we see a lot of comments saying, Rick, stop laughing like Kamala Harris. I hate your laugh. I'm out of here. Hey, now, I love you. I love you. Now, I'm wishing the best in all you guys' life, man. Because we are on a road to a huge, and I mean a huge victory, man. But we can't get complacent. We can't, we can't, you know, we, got, we actually got to keep going. We actually got to get out and go. We got to go vote, man. Can't get satisfied. We can't stop now. We got to keep stomping the ground. I'll catch you on the next one.